please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon for the future notification to watch more videos of latest fashions and trends. Thank you so much for your love and support. Hello friends, welcome back to Amazing Men's World. In this video, I have come up to show you one of the beautiful designer pattern lehenga choli using this old sari. Believe it or not, this was the old sari of about 40 years ago. This is my mom's sari and it's completely done with the silver zari work i think you can clearly see here with the heavy border this is the upside border which is of three to four inches and as you can clearly see here the down border which is nearly having 12 inches i think so completely designed with the pure silver zari work so without taking much time let's quickly start with this pattern designing of lehenga Firstly, I'll be showing how to give the markings on this chart. I have folded the chart like giving the single fold into two layers. I think you can clearly see here. On this top side, I'm going to give the markings of waist length, which is of two inches. This is with the seaming elements. And for the bottom layer here, I'll be taking seven and a half inches marking. This is also including with the seaming elements. Waist length plus ease divided by the number of layers you have to give the markings on this top side and the bottom flare as per your requirement 7 and of inches is total the width will be of 15 inches each flare so here i'm gonna preparing eight layers of this panel i had joined those two points and on these markings i'm gonna give the cut and now i'll unfold it to show you how the flare would look on this panel I had already shown you of 2 inches which is on the waist length the total length would be of 4 inches this I am going to prepare for the length of 32 inches waist length actual required length is 26 inches the remaining would be of ease for easy draping I would be trimming off this upper side the putty or the border which is of 2 and of 2 3 inches this I will cut off first. and now I will place this panel on the sari and I will give the marking the total length of this sari approximately is of 36 inches and this is how we have to place it and give the markings and without wasting we have to place the panel next to these markings again and we have to again give the markings i think this is clearly you can view and i am not giving any markings on this border i want to carry this border as it is without any modifications on the border the remaining left is on this bodies of the sari which we have to place it like this and give the complete markings and i'm going to prepare eight panels of lehenga and this is how we have to give the markings first and then i'll be giving the cutting on this middle part ensuring without any modifications on these panels as you can clearly see here eight panels without any modification on this border now place it right on right like this and we have to join these panels just next to each other and now i'll show you how to join these panels firstly place one panel on another and without disturbing the border just above that we have to join placing both together at a time and we have to give the stitch with the seaming elements of one centimeter like this we have to join all the eight panels one after another After joining the lehenga panels would look like this four panels front and four panels back for the easy draping here I'd be joining towards the sides I'd be joining this zipper unzip this and place it towards the sides and keep joining this giving the stitch
fold the fabric place the zipper like this just besides the zipper teeth we have to give the stitch I'm done with the zipper joining. Let me check it first and uh, this is working properly. Now I'll join the waist belt for that here I'm going to use 4 inches waist belt. The small border I have created also join the leftover piece with making the width of 4 inches and placing it towards the wrong side both at a time we have to give the stitch first again and then fold it towards the right side give the joining of another side waist belt towards the ends i'll be giving the double folding like this and also giving the stitch this is for the dory joining i'll be i'll be keeping it open because to insert the dory easily again i'll fold this hip belt towards right side like this and I'll give the stitch again to complete this lehenga panels. This is how we have to create 8 panels lehenga. And this is so simple following the, my instructions in the video. You can create for yourself or for your daughters easily at home. Now with the leftover pallo, I'd be creating the blouse. Which, because the pallo is really heavy which will give the grand look. And the combination of this lehenga with the choli will really give the designer pattern. Which I said in the beginning of the video. You'll also authenticate the same. And without wasting much time, again we'll start giving the markings on this lining. Firstly, I'll give the marking for the front panel marking. Here, the length I'll be taking is of 16 and half inches. It's on single fold, double layers, and giving the neck width marking also with the neck depth of four and half inches. The common neckline is of U shaped neckline here. Remaining will be followed with the body measurements. It's very simple. Marking half of the armhole line which is of 3 and half inches. Marking in half an inch and uh, I'll be connecting this from the shoulder to the chest point. And the waist length markings is of 7 and half inches with the seaming elements 1 and half inches extra. Now we will trim off all the extras. Placing the front panel as the reference, I'll be giving the marking for the back panel. This here, I'm gonna prepare the back with the small circle hole. The simple dory hanging for that cutting here, I'll show you right now. First, cut in the center, place the front panel on this back panels. Here, I'm gonna give one inch seam element for the preparation of hook and eye strap without joining it separately will make from this 
on this marked line i'll be placing the front panel fold exactly like this marking the armhole and the sides neck uh, width would be of two and a half inches I'll trim off the extras. Now I'll be placing this shaper scale like this, marking the half of the semicircle, and I'll cut on this and I'll show you. We'll get the circle shape here: half circle towards one panel and half circle on another. Both joining together, we'll get the full circle shape. Using the armhole measurements here, I'm marking for the sleeves, and the sleeve length is of uh, eleven and half inches, with the sleeve opening length which is of four and half inches. The same, I'd be giving the markings here. You should mark accordingly to your customized measurements. Following the instructions in the video. This is how we'll get the sleeves of left and right side. Accordingly, I had trimmed the main fabric. This is how it looks. And as I said before, both half circles when we join will get the circle shape. As you can clearly see here, I'll be giving the stitch on these corners. placing the dory on this top joining just like that place it and give the stitch for the neck joining also on this circle shape
and once the stitching is done this is how it looks we have to give the slits without crossing the thread line remember that and turn inside out so that the main fabric will come out and the lining will turn to another side this is how both the front and back And now I'll place both front and back panels together for the joining of the shoulders. I'm done with the shoulder joining. Now I'll be placing the sleeves. This would be the final one. And I'm done with this beautiful designer lehenga choli. This is how the final outcome look. I hope sharing of this idea is really useful to you all. If you have enjoyed, please try it and share your wonderful. Share that in my community and also in the Facebook. Don't forget to hit the like button to support my efforts. Thank you so much for watching, friends. Meet you all with another interesting video. Subscribe to Amazing Women's World channel. Stay tuned to watch more. Until then, see you all. Bye for now.